Hi everybody, it's Lori with Reiki and Wellness broadcasting from my healing space tonight for Wellness Wednesday. And tonight's topic I want to discuss is how meditation is the fountain of youth. Um, before we get into the topic, I want to go ahead and do our Reiki cleansing technique. And tonight we're going to use orange oil. And we're going to douse our hands with the orange oil. And then we want to corm comb over our auric field to pull off any um, stuck energy from our aura. The essential oils will grab on to anything that is not good for you and help you remove it. They also just freshen everything up and help you to like align with fresher, nicer, brighter energy. Don't forget your knees and go ahead and get your feet. And then we want to go ahead and warm our hands up to do a little Reiki before we start talking. So you warm your hands up and then you generate energy between your hands. Once you feel some resistance between your hands, that's when you know like your hands are really activated. You have chakras in between your hands and those chakras generate the energy. So like the better you are at this, you can actually feel energy further and further away. And then when you push them back together, you'll feel a resistance. Okay, so that's how we get like really energized in our hands. And we want to use that energy to open up our chakra system and we're going to start at our crown. When you feel like your hands want to fall apart, that's when you know it's time to let it open. And you want to go to your third eye chakra. That should push forward your throat chakra. I did skip the, the sides, so we can do that. Open up the side of our head. Check in with our heart space. Open that up. Go down to your solar plexus, which is right below the heart. Open that guy. And then go down to your sacral chakra, which is right below your solar plexus. Open that up. And then your root chakra is basically where you sit. So you just kind of want to work with the energy, you know, close to where your hips meet your thighs. And then we'll open that up. And then I like to connect with my knees. So you can actually like work with your the energy of your knees. Um, there's not really a chakra there, but there is energy that comes off your knees. So you can just go ahead and kind of like, um, almost give yourself like a little knee rub or knee massage and just kind of activate the knee. And then go ahead and, um, go down to your feet and just kind of rub your feet and activate those chakras. ready to open and um, so tonight's topic is how meditation is the fountain of youth I just had my 49th birthday and there is some better lighting on this video but um, I feel that a lot of looking younger is working on the inside out so instead of working on plastic surgery methods or um, I mean that you definitely want to take care of your skin and your your body for sure but you can regenerate energy and cells within your body by using mindfulness practices and meditation and you can regenerate through exercise and yoga and things like that and yoga is like a moving meditation so it's all kind of related to meditation also exercise, I think a lot of people get into a meditative state. So there's different types of meditation. There's moving meditations and, you know, people swim and that's like a meditation for some people. Um, creativity is meditative. Music, playing music is meditative. So there's different types of meditation. 
and finding the one that works for you is just a system of trial and error. So, you know, sometimes people like to focus on a mantra or they like to sit and just kind of observe their thoughts. Um, that's what I call mindfulness meditation and that's typically what I do, but I also go outside and I do like nature walks and I use photography to help me meditate because it helps me bring, um, kind of calm all my thoughts down and focus them into the subject of whatever I'm taking a photo of. So it is a way of like, you're, you. the idea is you want to calm your thoughts, right? And then when you calm your thoughts, you relax your whole nervous system. And when we have a relaxed nervous system, we can like regenerate and um, rejuvenate our cells and it really brings like positive energy back into our system. So it's like giving you like an energetic cleanse, right? So breathing exercises, um, yoga exercise, meditation, all of that really just is a rejuvenation therapy. So it not only reduces stress, but when you reduce stress, you calm everything down so it can regenerate and recirculate and get your blood flowing. And when you're stressed and tense, you're like closing in on things. Like even your brain shuts down, your nervous system shuts down. So the more stress and tension you hold on to, the less you can open and like allow flow, right? So we want our chakras to flow open. We want our chi to flow open, which is like a Chinese system. We want our blood to flow open. We want all the like nerves to be nourished by our blood. Um, putting more oxygen into your bloodstream is nourishing and gets everything kind of pumped and revitalized. So the more you can practice mindful meditation or a type of meditation, the better it is for your system. And then, you know, the result is you will feel younger and look younger, right? So it's like working from the inside out. It calms you down. It makes you, um, you know, more resistant to stress in certain ways. So, you know, you might encounter more stressful situations, but you're able to handle them better. And then you can, um, I don't know, the benefits are endless, actually. There's a lot of science behind this, and this is not a science channel, but I just want to kind of um, highlight that meditation is going to, you know, it's something you can do for the rest of your life, and it's something that will help you rejuvenate and revitalize your cells and your mind and your soul and your spirit. I mean, it's just, it's so good for everything. Um, so I also like to use like celebrity references sometimes and I wanted to, I compiled a little list of celebrities that meditate that you might not be aware of. Um, Dolly Parton does a meditation every day. Phil Jackson from the Bulls, I think we do know that he was, um, he's a Buddhist and he's big on meditation and he got all the players from the Bulls to meditate. Um, the players from the 1990s that won all the championships they were big on meditation um richard gear who's also a buddhist he's he meditates jerry seinfeld the comedian i found out he has uh, he practices transcendental meditation he and like a group of people like david lynch and some others um practice what's called transcendental meditation and that's not something i personally practice but it's something to look into if you're interested in seeing what they do um, Gwyneth Paltrow, I'm sure, is a meditator. She's big on into yoga and health and things like that. Mike Tyson, he's been taking like a really cool spiritual journey. I actually watched some YouTubes on him. Um, he meets with like a yoga guru, a yogi, they call it. Um, and he does like all this spiritual stuff now. It's pretty cool. Um, Andy Kaufman from Taxi and, uh, Jim Carrey played him in Man on the Moon, the movie, and of course Jim Carrey meditates as well. Tina Turner, who we know converted to Buddhism, and Oprah Winfrey, who's not a Buddhist, but she's, you know, very spiritual and meditates. 
So those are some celebrities that do meditate and I think they put out good energy, right? So um, it's just something to relate to. But meditation, I really can't say enough about it. And I just thought maybe we'll go ahead and get into a little bit of a meditation now and um, let you, you know, feel the results for yourself. But we want to kind of quiet ourselves. When I do Reiki, that helps us come back into our body. So when you do Reiki and you open your chakras and you're using your hands, it helps you get back into your body. Getting back into your body is part of meditation. So when you, meditation helps bring you back into your body as well. So you can use Reiki as a means of getting into a meditative state, or you can do something else like a walk or a swim or, you know, music or whatever you like to do. But you can just, you know, it's it, the idea is to get back into your body and ground. So that's also the big piece of meditation is grounding. So we do Reiki at the beginning of the videos, and then we like to ground that energy into the earth, right? So we're going to go ahead and open up our chakra system. And we call on extra energies to help and support us, but you don't have to do this in meditation. You can do other methods, but I like to add extra energy into a meditation. So we're going to call on divine light is doing its perfect work in and through us now. Divine light is doing its perfect work in and through us now. Divine light is doing its perfect work in and through us now. You want to breathe it into your energy field. And so a lot of how I meditate is with my eyes closed. It's difficult for a video to see somebody's eyes closed. But we want to just go ahead and kind of sit quietly. And I guess I'll try to do it with my eyes closed. And we just want to imagine that we are grounding further and further into the earth, right? So just imagine like all this sunlight just coming into your energy field and bringing it all the way through your body. Breathe it out as you feel you want to and ground it into the earth. Whenever the energy feels heavy, just breathe it out. So the method that I use for meditation is I just sit quietly and um, in a method that I was shown, you imagine there's a movie screen like eight to 10 inches in front of your, your head or your face and you just watch your thoughts go by just like you're watching a movie. So you're observing your thoughts, you're not judging them, you're not um, participating in them, you're just watching them like it's a movie screen. So. What happens when you settle your body down, your mind starts like doing things, right? So you can just observe those thoughts and just notice them and just say, oh, that's me thinking, right? So you are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are different from you. So you're just observing your thoughts. Um, you can use a mantra to interject whenever a thought arises. You can say something like divine love is doing its perfect work in and through me now, or just focus on the word love or focus on the word light. And every time a thought arises, you can focus on that word. I personally like to just watch the movie. So I just sit and I watch whatever plays out. And this is how I approach dreaming too. Like in the morning when I wake up from my dreams, I am like kind of coming back into my body and I'm looking at my dreams and I'm just observing like how what what the movie was from the night before. The more um, repressed you are, the more um, exotic your dreams are. So the more you process your feelings and your emotions on a consistent basis, the more ordinary your dreams will become. And the same with like um, your thoughts. So when all of the subconscious stuff starts arising, it's going to be kind of like dramatic and crazy looking. 
So you want to process as much as you can, as often as you can. So when your thoughts arise, it's like, oh, I got to go get groceries or I have to go do this. And it's like those things become very ordinary, right? When you have subconscious material that isn't processing on a regular basis, it's going to be, you know, drama and chaos and all kinds of stuff. So you want to start processing your feelings or emotions as soon as you can. So everything just starts to seem a little less dramatic and much more ordinary. And that's a sign that you're doing a good job processing your feelings and emotions, not only in meditation, but in your dreams. Okay, so we're just going to sit and observe for a couple minutes, whatever comes up and just watch it and just say hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. And no judgment, no attachment to whatever's coming up. So we're going to do that for a couple minutes. So take your time. Take a few deep breaths. You can just focus on your breath rising and falling too. That's an easy way to start connecting with your meditative practice. Feel your feet grounding onto the floor more. Okay, we're not going to spend too long on it, but basically you just want to shut down a little bit and start observing what's happening and feel the sensations in your body and connect to your body more. And then if you do a group meditation, you'll feel the energy in the room from the other people. And you can just really start getting into the sensory experience of meditation. And it's really relaxing. It's really rejuvenating. And I do think it's the fountain of youth and it's something you can do for the rest of your life. And the sooner you start, the better and the, the better it'll be and the more results you'll have, right? But you can start at any time. So you can start meditating at 90 years old. There's, you know, it's, it's great. It just fits everybody at any time of life and it will benefit you immensely. So that's our video for tonight. Thank you for joining me for Wellness Wednesday. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this energy with our Reiki. All right. Have a great week. And um, thank you for joining me for Wellness Wednesday. If you're enjoying this, please do like and subscribe. I would appreciate the support. Thank you. Take care.